Hey, this is Jason with Everyday Apple, and I want to give you a quick overview of the new ECG feature in the Apple Watch Series 4. It's pretty terrific. Now, many of you are probably already aware of the basic functionality in the Apple Watch where it can check your pulse all the time. Um, I just got an Apple Watch Series 4 again. I, I've had a Series 2 previously. I sold it. And um, back into the Apple Watch game, I'm really loving it. And um, so I'm obsessed with checking my pulse all the time. I love to know what was my pulse while I was sleeping, what was my pulse while I was just hanging out at work and doing my thing, you know, when I was going from here to here. After working out, you know, I wish I could wear it while I was working out. I do martial arts, so that makes it a little more challenging. But um, I like to check my heart rate immediately after that, you know, as soon as I can. And so... You know, that's just kind of the basics that uh, everybody's pretty familiar with, uh, where you go to the, you know, heart app and, you know, you can let it check your, your pulse. Okay, so Apple's also now added this, this ECG feature, which basically just gives you a heads up if you have an irregular heartbeat. Uh, that's all it does. And it's does not going to warn you if you're having a heart attack, you know, if it's, and they're, they're really clear about those types of things. Um, so... When you first bring up this app and um, you, you tap on the, the icon there, you get this really cool looking heart. Now, please be aware, you cannot make this work if you are running anything less than the latest update on your um, Apple Watch. Well, it won't be there on the Apple Watch if you don't have the update for watch OS and you've got to have your phone updated to 12.1.1. So once you've got both of those things in place, and it, by the way, it can't be the beta version. Do not, ins if you've got the beta version installed, you've got to delete that profile in your system preferences. And uh, once you do that, you'll be good to go because it'll, you'll basically need to run the software update again and get the regular version of 12.1.1. Once you've done that, if you were a beta user, now you're going to see the functionality there. So basically what you do is you're going to uh, put your finger on the crown and it's going to check for electrical impulses, electrical impulses between your finger and uh, underneath the watch and your wrist and use that to take a measurement just, just like it, you would at the doctor's office and see, okay, what is the rhythm of your heart? Now, of course, the doctor's office is going to be a much more extensive check, but this gives you kind of a quick check to say, hey, looks like you've got a normal rhythm, which I do. It says, hey, you have a sinus rhythm, and that you can touch the little eye, the info button there, and uh, it'll tell you what you want to know about that and what is a sinus rhythm, what does that mean? And it tells you all about it. So um, the, what's great about this is it, it takes the measurement and also gives you a ton of information as well. Uh, not only here, but also in the iPhone Health app. So it, that's where it's sending this information is to the Health app. And so let's take a look at what you can do in that app. Okay, so when you take the ECG reading, you're going to get a notification saying, hey, there's a recording available. So you tap that, it brings you into the Health app. And the Health app wants to know if you want, to, want notifications um, that would tell you you've got an irregular heartbeat. So you can walk through this process and set it up and it's going to give you some extra information. It's going to get your birthday and, hey, have you ever been diagnosed with AFib? And so you go through that whole process and we'll kind of skip through all of that here. So it gives you some really good information here. I mean, um, hey, four things you should know. Apple Watch cannot detect heart attacks. If you feel like you're having a heart attack, the best option is to just go ahead and call emergency services, not check your Apple Watch to figure out if you're having a heart attack. <laughs> not, not the best call there. So, if, you know, talk to your doctor and so on. This is not intended to really diagnose and so on. It's just, it's a heads up. It's a, hey, something might be off with the rhythm of your heart. This could help us solve other things later down the road. So uh, we'll kind of keep going through here. Um, now, so once you've done that, it just goes in there with all the rest of your information, and you uh, basically just tap on the uh, ECG right there. You can see I've taken two of them today. And so we tap on that, and it shows us the, the readout that it took using the Apple Watch. 
And um, what's great about these is if you needed to take this to a doctor, you can tap on them here. I'll tap on this top one here and kind of look through it and, you know, use your, you can scroll sideways here and, and look through the whole thing. And uh, you can also export a PDF of this for your doctor. Uh, really cool. Uh, so, you know, export the PDF and save this to, you know, your, whatever location you want using the share menu there. I'll save to files and drop in the iCloud drive and boom, now I've got it ready for my doctor's appointment. If I needed to go and say, hey, it looks like something might be a little off. Can you help me? And then they will do a full check, of course, using the doctor's Apple Watch. Um, so anyway, that's the ECG feature. I think it's great. It's a great addition. And um, me being obsessed with health metrics, um, uh, this is really, this is right up my alley. So I'm really enjoying it. I uh, hope this helps you get a, get a handle on how it works. Mm -hmm.